Filling your own cylinder saves time and money and makes it more convenient to fly with oxygen. Here, we'll go over what you need to fill your own cylinder, important safety information, and how to perform the transfill process. First, let's go over the equipment you'll need. A large supply tank, which can be delivered by a local oxygen supply company, a portable cylinder you wish to fill, and finally a transfill hose with the appropriate connector type. At Mountain High, we sell four primary transfill hoses. These hoses are available in different lengths, from 1.5 to 12 feet, depending on the hose. And we can build custom lengths as well. Let's talk about the differences between them, starting from the simplest hose to the most versatile. The TR55 is the simplest hose, with a connector on each end, and that's about it. The green knob connects to the supply tank and should be gently tightened with a wrench, while the hexagonal brass fitting connects to the refill cylinder and may be hand tightened as it uses the line pressure and an O-ring to make a tight seal. The TR55 has no gauges, so the user cannot monitor the supply tank pressure and no valves, so there is no way to bleed the pressure in the line when finished. With the TR55, the user must disconnect from the supply side while under pressure, requiring some strength and care. Also, to allow the TR55 to disconnect under pressure, the typical O-ring is omitted on the supply side, so you should only disconnect from this side. Disconnecting the brass side while under pressure will damage the O-ring, and the TR55 will no longer be able to create a seal. Also, if the supply side valve head is not brass, such as a chrome-plated valve head, a good seal cannot reliably be made because there is no O-ring. In this case, any of our other transfill hoses seal with an O-ring on both sides of the hose and would be a better choice. A step up from the TR55, the TR75 adds an isolation valve and a bleed valve to the destination side of the hose, making disconnecting easier. With the added valves, a user can avoid stress on their cylinder's valve by using the attached isolation valve, and they can bleed the pressure from the line after filling, making the knob easy to unscrew. As mentioned earlier, both sides of the transfill hose seal with an O-ring, so connecting to non-brass supply tanks is not a concern. The TR55 and TR75 both require you to use the cylinder's gauge. The TR95 is our most popular transfill hose and takes the same improvements of the TR75 and adds a gauge to the supply tank side of the hose. With the TR95, a user is equipped to easily fill a cylinder with the attached bleed and isolation valves, as well as monitor the pressure in the supply tank. The TR105 takes the TR95 one small step further and adds a gauge on the destination side of the fill hose. Having the second gauge is very nice when filling a built-in system, which usually requires a long hose. With a gauge on both ends, there's no running back and forth to check the pressure. Additionally, having a gauge on the destination side of the hose enables users to monitor the pressure of cylinders which do not have a gauge. Before we cover the transfilling process, let's go over some important safety considerations. Oxygen itself is not flammable. However, it greatly enhances combustion. Combustible materials will burn in oxygen-rich environments with explosive violence. Oil, grease, and other combustible materials, including oil from contaminated tools or even a person's hands, can create conditions for combustion. If you are concerned that your equipment may be contaminated, consult the Transfill Hose product documentation for cleaning tips and more safety information. Open cylinder valves slowly. Releasing high-pressure oxygen causes heat via friction, and impact heating with foreign particles can combust materials. High-pressure oxygen can also dangerously propel a cylinder if not carefully controlled. Verify that the transfiller fittings match the fittings of your supply and refill cylinders. At each connection point, both the male and female connector should be of the same connector type, either the US CGA 540 or European DIN 4779. Verify that the hydro test date on the cylinder you intend to fill has not expired. Also, double check the proper fill pressure for your cylinder. Do not fill a cylinder past its rated pressure. Now let's fill your cylinder. First, connect the hose to the supply tank. For the TR75, 95, and 105, you will connect the brass hex side of the transfill hose to the supply tank. For the TR55, the green knob will connect to the supply tank. Be sure to tighten it with a wrench. 
With all of the other hose types, you may use a wrench to tighten the brass fitting. However, the green knob should only be hand tightened. Next, connect the hose to the refill cylinder. Before filling, note the pressure rating of the cylinder, marked on the Mountain High label, as well as the top of the cylinder. Never fill a cylinder past its pressure rating. Once both ends of the transfill hose have been connected, slowly open the valve on the supply side first. You should hear oxygen pass from the supply side cylinder into the supply line. Next, slowly crack open the valve on the refill cylinder. Again, you should hear oxygen begin to pass into the refill cylinder. You should never open the valve all the way, as it will fill too fast, causing excessive heat and damaging the cylinder. Additionally, the more your oxygen is heated during transfilling, the more the pressure will drop as it cools, and the less oxygen you'll have in the cylinder. Now, you will allow the cylinder to fill using the transfer valve on the refill side to control the fill rate. If using a TR55, you'll use the cylinder's own valve to control the fill rate. The recommended fill rate is 50 to 75 liters per minute. At the recommended rate, filling should take about 3 minutes on an empty 180 liter cylinder to 12 to 13 minutes on an empty 682 liter cylinder. As a frame of reference, it should take 1.5 to 2 minutes for every 100 liters of oxygen. As you fill, the cylinder will become comfortably warm to the touch but it should not be allowed to get hot. For cylinders over 300 liters, transfilling may need to be done in segments, pausing to let the cylinders cool in between. Once your bottle has reached its rated pressure, close the valves in this order. First, the transfer valve, then the cylinder valve, and finally, the supply valve. With a TR55, since there is no transfer valve, You'll just close the refill valve and then the supply valve. Once all valves are closed, slowly crack open the bleed valve to allow the ambient pressure in the line to escape. If using a TR55, you will slowly open the green supply side knob and bleed the line until you can easily unscrew the hose from the supply tank. Congratulations! You're now ready to fill your own cylinders. Your refill cylinder will only be able to be filled to the pressure level of the supply cylinder. As your supply tank's pressure decreases, so does the level at which you're able to fill your refill cylinder. If you find yourself regularly replacing supply cylinders, cascading multiple supply cylinders is a clever way to use up more oxygen in your supply cylinders before replacing them, while still being able to fill your bottle to its maximum pressure rating. Look for how to cascade multiple supply cylinders in a separate tutorial. If you are looking to fill a built-in oxygen system, the transfill process in this tutorial still applies. However, you'll need some adapters to connect your transfiller to your aircraft. Also, you won't be able to use a TR55, since you'll need a transfer valve to control the fill rate into your aircraft. We'll cover all this in a separate tutorial on transfill adapters. That's it for our tutorial on transfilling. For additional information, check the product manual included with your transfiller and located on the product pages of each transfiller at mhoxygen.com. The manuals include detailed safety information and good practices for cleaning equipment. If you have any additional questions, feel free to give us a call.